This video gives a little bit of information about the assignment um, on the zinc concentration and it's a chance to sort of explore some basic statistics of a data set and uh, kind of think about how they might be communicated for a business question. So here this photograph just shows a kind of basic geologic idea where we would have a, a, a vein or a dike, some kind of uh, you know, intrusion and if you sampled along here every two meters and then made some uh, compositional measurements you might find a certain concentration of mineral like zinc in this case so that's the basic geologic kind of concept so in this uh, assignment we look at these data and what you just see is a, a series of numbers and what they represent is a measurement of the percentage by volume of zinc in each one of our, our little samples. So I just want to give you a quick tour around my spreadsheet that I've built that uh, I would use to do the assignment. So here I made a plot, here's the actual the data from the website, zinc percent by volume. It's every two meters along the, di the vein, so that's uh, distance along the vein in meters every two meters. And so we can make a simple plot, and so you, so you see the variation from you know less than five percent to as much as forty. So that's uh, kind of basic statistics that you would explore with the Excel functions here. So there's a few questions that you can answer once you've made those calculations. You're supposed to make a histogram, so you'll need to do something intelligent in terms of a bin range. Remember, we talked about ten is probably a good number. So how do you? account for the range of values here to make the bins or the buckets. Okay, I want to give an updated explanation of how to do the co uh, simple cost-benefit analysis. So what we want to do is we want to set up uh, something here where we have volume of zinc mined and it's going to be something above zero and then increasing up to let's say 7,000 cubic meters. There's a cost to mine and here we're basically saying anything less than the cost to mine and here we're saying anything less than 500 cubic meters costs a million dollars. The instant you start digging you just gotta get all your equipment there and then anything once we go above 500 cubic meters then it's uh, that additional amount um, squared as we dig in. So I want to show you how we use an, an if statement in Excel to uh, handle this variation. So what it says, we say we have if with open parentheses and then inside there the first thing before a comma says if a certain cell in this case the volume mined is less than or equal to 500 if that's true then the next thing goes in the current cell. So in that case if it's less than or equal to 500 put a million but then if it's not true which means it's larger than 500 then it's going to be a million dollars plus the uh, additional amount mined above 500. So we've already paid for the then this fills down so you can see our, our cost of mine goes up um, to something like 43 million to get 7,000 cubic meters. Now the, the, the value extracted is simply the volume times $5,000 per cubic meter. So we can see we get uh, increasing um, uh, value for the, what's mined the whole time. So our profit or loss then is just the difference between the two. And you can see very early on we lose money because we didn't mine anything yet, but we had to put our money down. Then for a while we start, we make money, but by the end we're losing. So there's some kind of crossover in our uh, profit uh, in our profit and loss. Now if we look at a plot of those, and I, I've kind of obscured it to make it uh, so you can explore this a little bit. You see, we can see that uh, I've plotted these numbers and we have a cost to mine in blue, the extracted zinc value in red and a profit or loss in green. So very early on the that you see the blue uh, cost of mine is starts off at a million and we see that our, our extracted value is zero so they cross over um, and then we we make money for a while so our extracted value is larger than the cost of mine. But by the end we see that the cost of mine is higher than the extracted value. So there's some some crossover. So we want to have you make that chart. The final thing we want you to do is to basically figure out exactly where that crossover is and you can use the solver for this. So you need to set things up so you have the volume mined is something that you uh, enter 
Then the cost to mine is the same equation we had above uh, with the if statement. The extracted value is the same as before. It's the volume mine times 5,000. And then the, the profit or loss, optimized for profit or loss, is just the, uh, the amount extracted, the value extracted, minus the cost of mine. So profit will be positive. So you could play around with this manually and say, you, you know, what was that number 5,000? Or, you know, if I go to 6,000, I'm starting to lose money. So where is the crossover? So let's use the solver. And what we want to do is we're going to set our, our target cell, the, the profit number. We want to set that equal to zero by changing the volume mined, this cell, but remember, we have two places where the profit is zero, two crossover points on our curve. So we need to have some constraint because we don't care about the smaller one. And so we, we can use some constraint. And we just say, all right, well, let's say this is subject to the constraint that the volume mined is greater than or equal to 500. OK, if we add that and then cancel. So, so we have two of those. Uh, we only need one. I just did that as the example. So, so this says just solve the problem for everything larger than 500 cubic meters. So if I push solve, we can see that oh, it looks like it takes about 5,700 cubic meters to get to the point where we start to cross over and lose money. The other thing we might do is say, well, what? let's say you want some sort of a profit like 5 million. So just change that uh, value there to 5 million and say solve. And so you can see that you actually want to mine less uh, because um, that last bit is starting to become so expensive. And so you really want to mine about 4,600 cubic meters to make a profit.